invitation. Thank you very much for the invitation. It's really a pleasure to be here and an honor to be in this distinguished panel. Let me just do a very brief introduction about the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development. So we are a multilateral development bank. We operate in a broad region that goes from Morocco to Mongolia, from the Baltics to, uh, to Egypt. And we are focused on the private sector. So we are, our mandate is to develop local markets, to, to promote sustainable development through the private sector. Every year we finance around 12 billion euro across 400 projects and three quarters of what we do is indeed through private channel. We are relatively new in Africa. We've been working for over 10 years in North Africa, in Morocco, Tunisia and Egypt. And we are now starting, about to start operation in six additional countries, uh, Kenya, uh, Ghana, Nigeria, uh, Cote d'Ivoire, um, Benin and Senegal. So coming back to, to your question, clearly it, it, the role of the private sector, the private capital is central in scaling up the provision of climate finance and providing the possibility to uh, move into a trajectory which is compatible with 1.5 degrees. As in this context, uh, the EBRD has been promoting for many, many years a number of tools and approaches that try to bring together the different stakeholders. Is the, uh, of course, the project developers, but also the financial institutions, including very much the local financial institutions, talking about what my friend Tony just mentioned, um, but also the technology providers and the policymaker and the regulators. I would like to give a couple of examples of, um, of this type of approaches and tools that we are planning to apply in this, in this region as well. One is the work through uh, local financial institutions, uh, so credit lines that uh, target SMEs, medium-sized enterprises for small-scale renewable energy and energy efficiency investments across all sectors, including, for example, agribusiness. And uh, this is a 20 years program that we have. It's been very successful. We work with over 150 banks in the current TBRD region. Uh, and it's based on a number of tools. One is called Green Technology Selector, which is a web-based B2B platform where local technology providers can list their technologies uh, in, uh, on the basis of minimum performance criteria. And this allows the local project developers to choose and identify the solutions uh, that can be applicable using local technology, locally available technologies, but with the minimum standards, which are designed and customized according to the specific country, but also allow the financial institution to facilitate the uh, investment decision. So in, in a way, this allows reducing the transaction cost, uh, uh, improving the allocation of risk, uh, and ultimately reducing the time that it takes to finalize an investment, uh, an investment opportunity. Another example is the work we do in, um, in, in the green city space. We have a large program to cover over 60 cities across the BRD region. Um, in Africa, we are doing work in Agadir, Alexandria, Cairo, and 6th of October city. And there the program is based on, uh, on a tool which we call green uh, city action plan. It's a bottom-up uh, tool that works on the, with the inputs of, uh, of, of local stakeholders at all levels, at the uh, municipal level, at the level of the public, but also the level of the local entrepreneurs and investors. And basically, uh, uh, it's based on the development of a benchmarking analysis of the performance of the city according to a number of green uh, and, and climate parameters. And the result of this work is basically two major tools, one or two major outcomes, uh, outputs. One is an investment plan uh, based on discrete investments. Um, and the second one is a, is a policy roadmap so that identify the uh, uh, bottlenecks that allow the uh, investments to be scaled up. Um, and this is also an interesting tool to, uh, that can be linked uh, uh, to the capital market, uh, uh, capital market instruments. Uh, just to finalize, you know, all this work is, is really based on the fact that at DBRD, we really believe uh, that climate can be a major driver of, climate investments can be a major driver of development. Over 50% of our investments are in the climate and green space. Um, and, and so the role of these tools for mobilization is, is really critical to scale up finance. Thank you.